What's your first impression? It's it's in the stars. Mm -hmm. Describe that for me. What does it look like? It looks like a, I'm on some sort of ship. Mm -hmm. Some sort of ship. I'm seeing out uh, a glass uh, window. Mm -hmm. like, huge window. There's a lot of stars in the sky. Mm -hmm. In this place where you are looking out the window, do you have a physical body there? I do. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to take a look at this body. You may start down and see what you have. Perhaps uh, his feet. What do you feel look like? Blue. Blue. Mm -hmm. It's blue and um, the more I you think, talk, the more you'll see. I think it looks like four toes. Four toes. Mm -hmm. um, something looking like toes. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm looking at my hands. What do your hands look like? Blue. Mm -hmm. What kind of shape do you see your hands to be? They're not human hands. They don't. They don't have um, fingers. But see, I have about three, three, three digits. Probably. Three digits on your fingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me more. Um, I think I'm a female. Mm -hmm. You feel female? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a big head. Big head. Tell mm -hmm. me what your head looks like. Well, it's bald. There's no hair. Mm -hmm. um, the back is its not like a human head. It's, mm -hmm. Yes. Describe it for me. I mean, there's a forehead, but the actual cranium is is big. Mm -hmm. Bigger. It's bigger. Bigger. It's more protruded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at your facial fiction features. What do they look like? Mm -hmm. Um, big eyes. Mm -hmm. Um, big black eyes. Big black eyes. Well, yeah, black. Mm -hmm. Very, very thin lips. Very small lips. Mm -hmm. The yeah. nose is really small too. Small nose too. And narrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing any clothing? Um, I think it's, yeah, um, sort of a gown. Um, yeah, gown. Um, it's white, mm -hmm. I believe. It's white. Yeah. Does it, t did it cover your whole body or only a certain part of your body? No, it covers my whole body. Mm -hmm. It's down to the ground. But I can see my feet. Okay, good. Are you wearing any type of ornaments? Um, Look at your arms. Look at the gown. Your neck. The sleeves are long. The sleeves yeah. are long. There's some sort of necklace around my neck. Mm -hmm. There's a stone or something in it. A stone. Is there anything particularly interesting about this stone or necklace? It's sort of green. Mm -hmm. It's round. It's oval. It's oval. Mm -hmm. It's sort of green, a mix between um, green and blue, but more more green, more jade kind of color. Mm -hmm. I guess it's iridescent. You could probably say it's iridescent. Mm -hmm. Not, yeah, it's different colors, but it's more more green, like jade mm -hmm. against my skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you focus on this necklace of stone, mm -hmm. is there anything particular? Any reason why you're wearing it? What comes to mind? 
protection. Protection. Mm -hmm. Can you communicate with the stump? I don't know. I could try. Mm -hmm. What kind of protection does the stone give you? I think it just... Allows me to see. Allows things. you to see. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm getting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use that stone to allow you to see even more. So I'd like for you to make that strong connection with that stone so that you can see more about that life. See where it is that you're going and who you're with. Let's find out a little bit more about the ship that you're on. Are you alone on the ship or are there others with you? Right now I'm alone, mm -hmm. but um, there are others on the ship. I'm looking out the window. It's not a window, it's like a whole wall of, of glass mm -hmm. that you see. And I'm just looking out. On into space, there's nothing except stars and darkness and stars. There. Mm -hmm. How would you connect with your emotions about this place? How do you feel on this ship? Comfortable. Mm, very good. Like I'm, like this is my home. That's your home. Very good. So if this is your home, let's see where it is that you spend most of your time on that ship. I'd like for you now to close this scene and move forward on that same ship to see where you spend most of your time. Be there now. It looks like a sort of um, command center. A command. Sort of. uh -huh. there, are other, there are other ones like me there. Mm -hmm. um, I think I I work there or something. You work there. All right. Work, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's go even deeper into this memory and let's see what it is that you do. I'd like for you now to see yourself doing what you do when you're at this command center. Fully acclimate yourself into that body and mind. There's some sort of uh, computer, you can say. Mm -hmm. um, board, a switchboard sort of thing. Not as old as that, but mm -hmm. it's... I'm pushing buttons, mm -hmm. <laughs> as I see. Um, I think I'm talking to someone. All right. Do you use your voice to talk with them, or do you no. use your mind? My mind. Mm -hmm. So let's find out who this is. Who are you speaking with? It's a male. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's in ch he's higher than me, um, like a, a boss or supervisor or. Um, or somebody who um, who's mentoring me, I think. Mm -hmm. And I learn from him. How do you like what you do? Oh, I do. I, I like learning from him. Mm -hmm. I think he's... Um, I don't know if he's a, the captain, is he? Mm -hmm. I think... He's sort of in charge. He's in charge. Yeah. And what is your responsibility on this ship? What are you learning to do? I think I'm supposed to, um, like, second in command, mm -hmm. I think. I'm supposed to do what he does. Very good. But not yet. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Um, I feel young. I feel like 25. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, in this command center, do you see others with you? I do. What do they do? Well, there are 
their stations or their um, their, their workstations to be um, looking at looking at stuff and pressing buttons mm-hmm. and all of that. And at your command station, are you standing or are you sitting? I'm standing. You're standing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's find out a little bit more about this ship. I'd like for you to disconnect from this body and be able to see the ship from the outside. Take a look at this ship. What does it look like? The entire front is um, where the command center is. It's um, it's like glass. You can see all around. Mm -hmm. What shape is the ship in? I think oval. I'm getting oval. It's a sort of an oval shape. Mm-hmm. Like an egg. Sort of. Like yeah. an egg. Does yeah. it have a color? Um, it's dark um, out there looking in. Mm-hmm. But it's, a, it's not a light color. It's, I think it, it sort of takes on the color of the darkness it's dark it's a dark color mm-hmm. I don't know if it's really the color of the ship or if it just reflects off of the ship but it's dark very good and it's not shiny it's not shiny no and what kind of a size is this ship oh it's huge it's huge yeah we look like specks in it mm-hmm how many individuals are in this ship for that I can see um, from the command center it's probably around 20 mm-hmm. 20, there. 20 uh, at the command center yeah okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap your third eye and when I do you'll be able to know the population on that ship the entire population go ahead and see that number well, 251 very good very good so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to a time on that ship when something very important happened I'd like for you now to travel to that moment in time when something very important is happening I think we have to go on some sort of mission Mm -hmm. and I'm supposed to be learning from the captain Um, it's like he's showing me what I should do in a situation what kind of a mission is this? Mm. is it on the ship or off the ship? I feel like it's off the ship Mm -hmm. It's not on. Our ship doesn't have any issues on it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just to... Uh, we have to go someplace. Alright. Um, we have to help with something. Alright. So, I'd like for you now to just move forward in time to where you have arrived at the place where you need to do your mission. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's Earth. It's Earth. Very good. What do you it's see? Gaia. It's Gaia. What do you see? I see the I see the planet. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's more ships around, but no, but they're not ours. They're. I think we have to protect Earth, Earth or Gaia from from those ships from those other ships yeah Mm -hmm. so I want you to tap into the knowledge of your captain of those that are in command and you'll be able to understand completely what's happening to Gaia and who these other ships belong to they're trying to to infiltrate to go into it they're and we can't, we can't allow them 
to do that. So what is it that you do? What is your mission? How do you protect her? There's some sort of grid. Mm -hmm. It's um... It's supposed to prevent them from entering. Mm -hmm. At some point. But I I think something was, was wrong with the grid. I think we're supposed to help fix it. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, yeah, there are more. There are more ships than it can handle. There are more ships than the grid can handle. Can you explain what that means about this grid and how it could handle the ships? So the, the grid is around Gaia. Um, it's, it's sort of like a net. Mm-hmm. But not a physical net. It's um, it's like a force field sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And um, certain ships can't can't pass through to come into its atmosphere or Gaia's atmosphere. Mm-hmm. But there's a point that was penetrated by these ships, which are the bad, well, not bad, but they're, they don't have good intentions. Mm -hmm. Are you able to feel what those good intent, those, those not good intentions are? Are you able to hone in on them? I feel like they have their own agenda and they don't care about humans. Mm -hmm. They don't care about Gaia. They just want to take, they what just want to take, um, they, what are they taking from Gaia? I'm getting gold, mm-hmm. they're taking gold, um, and humans, mm-hmm. I like guinea pigs, they, they see humans like guinea pigs. What do they do with them? I think they experiment on them. Mm-hmm. And what are they using the gold for? Uh, it's either uh, it some sort of um, it's either to conduct or some sort of electricity or um, it's like a power source. A power mm-hmm. source. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they're going in there to Earth to take all of this gold so that they can use it for. Their yeah. own power? Yes, everything is self-serving with them. Mm-hmm. What they do these just... beings look like? Do they look like you? No, they don't. They're heavy. They're dense. They're menacing. They're... They're huge. Mm-hmm. Do they look they're like happy. humans? No. Well, they have arms and they. Mm-hmm. But they know they don't look like humans. They they're a different being altogether. Mm-hmm. They're they're more um, they're like lizards. Like lizards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a mix between a lizard and a dragon. A lizard and a dragon. Yeah. What color are they? They're dark green. Do but they, not a nice color green. Do they crawl or do they stand? They stand. They yeah, stand. Two legs. Yeah. And you say they're huge. They're huge. Mm-hmm. They're menacing. Their their energy is dense and it's it's horrible. Mm-hmm. They don't have good intentions at all. So what happens next? I think the their ships are, are converging on the point that's really weak. The point of the grid that's really weak. Mm-hmm. And our ship needs to go there to fix it. Alright, so let's allow this to happen. I'd like for you to just take me through this. 
to see what it is that your ship does. Take me through the process. So I get there. There are about five of those ships um, that are like in a circle around around where the grid is weak, weakening. Um, I think we, we need to repair the grid mm-hmm. or make it stronger at that point. Yes. How do you do that? How do we do that? Some kind of technology that I do. Mm-hmm. Connect with your commander's mind. Does your commander know how to repair this? He does. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you to connect. It's a, we have to put some sort of patch on. It's like a patch that you're putting on, like a band-aid mm-hmm. <laughs> on a wound. Um, Is it an energetic patch? Yes. Yes. Where does that come from? Off. I think of a ship. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not a physical. It's not a physical um, object or anything. It's just. It's energetic. Yeah. All right. It's it's invisible to most, but not us. We. We have to fix it. All right. So take me through this now. Allow yourself now to go through this process and see what happens next. We need help Mm -hmm. because the five ships that are there would attack us. But if they attack us, we can get away, but we won't fix we won't fix the grid. Mm-hmm. So I think we have to call for help. All right. So I'd like for you to advance now to that moment when you are calling for help and tell me how you do it. Do you use technology? No, I think it's a telepathic. All right. This sort of call for help. Who do you call? Uh, other beings like us. Mm-hmm. There are other ships that can get there in seconds. The other ones have been there are bigger ships than Your ours. Your bigger. Mm-hmm. They, they, they can. They can defend us while we go in and work. They're sort of um, they sort of have a, the a distraction, mm-hmm. so that the other ships, the the ones who are causing the damage, that they can um, move away from where is. It's broken on the grid. So take me through this and see what kind of distraction is it that these other ships are doing while you work on the grid? What do they do? I think they're fighting. Well, not with not with guns, though. You know, like not with not with guns. What do they use? I want you to see it clearly now. There's some sort of energy mm-hmm. that's emitted from our ships. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, think it, I think it can disable their ships. That our ship is not our ship that we're on, but the other, the other one who came to help us. Um, it's huge. Is it one or are there more? There's just one that mm-hmm. I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. It's huge. It's a lot bigger than ours. 
and it's bigger than yours. What shape is that ship in? What does it look like? Um, it's not like ours. It's is it more of a tri it's more of a triangle? More of a triangle. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pyramid, triangle. Not a pyramid. Like it's just. It's a different shape. It's a different shape. Uh huh. And are the beings on this ship the same as yours? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Their job is different from mine. Their job is to you know, physically protect. Okay. Yeah. So what happens next? I'd like for you now to move forward in time to see what happens after this ship arrives and begins to distract the others. Four go. Four go. Four of the bad ones. Four of them leave through the grid? No. They, they haven't gone through the grid as yet. They can't as yet. Uh -huh. they, they need to weaken it more. I see. So they have left. There's only one ship left. The four... Four... There were five around the weak spot. Mm -hmm. And then our, our, our... The big ship came. Our ship. The big one. And distracted mm. four of the ones around um, by the grid. One stayed to try and open it more. Um, so we have to deal with that one ship that's there before we get to repair the grid. All right. Yeah. Is there anything else? from this scene that's important. Where? We're, we're able to we're able to repair the grid. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now let's close this scene. And we're going to move through time and space to another important scene in that same lifetime something that affected that life be there now i think i'm on the ship so mm -hmm. i'm older take a look at your body feel the body how old is this body now In our years, it's about, about 50. Mm -hmm. but, but I think we live longer than that. All right. I don't, I feel like, I feel like it's not a short, because we have more wisdom, I think. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. It, it feels like it's more years, but it's it's like if I'm 50 here. All right. Yeah. So I'd like for you now to look at your surroundings and tell me where you are. Not um, I'm around. There's a lot of walls around me. A lot of walls. There's, I'm not looking out. I'm not seeing outside. Mm -hmm. What is this place where you're in? It looks... There isn't anything in the room. Mm -hmm. There, I'm looking around and I'm not seeing anything. It's not a big room, but it's just... It's just white. What is this room? What is it used for? I don't know. So I'd like for you to disconnect from that body and look at it from the outside and tell me where it is that you are. Are you on the ship or somewhere? Um, just, I think I just went there to, to be alone. To be alone. Is this I, your alone place? I think so, yes. Mm -hmm. There's no one else there. All right. 
What happens in this room? What do you do there? I just want to be alone. You just want to be alone. Yeah. Very good. I think, I guess. I think. I, I think. think. Mm -hmm. Good. Think more. Yeah. Is there anything important about this place that comes to mind? It's, it's where I take a break. It's where you take a break. Very yeah. good. Very good. All right, so let's disconnect from this, close this scene, and now let's move to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Move forward to that last day. And tell me where you are. I don't feel like I'm on the ship. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not. Acclimate yourself with that body and tell me where it is. I think there's a lot of crystals around me. Mm -hmm. It's. I don't know if this is my. Room? Mm hmm. A room? Alright. I'm going to tap your forehead, and as I activate that third eye, you'll be able to see exactly where it is. What is this place? It's my home. Mm hmm. Is this a planet? It is. What is the name that you call this planet? I'm getting Arcturus. Arcturus. Mm hmm. And what is this crystal room? Mm. It's, a, it's a room in my home. Mm -hmm. I think um, there are a lot of crystals around, uh, clear ones. Um, it's peaceful. Mm -hmm. It's... It's it's like my place on the ship. It's your place on the ship. It's like it's like the uh huh. It's the same feeling. And feel your body. Is there something happening with this body? Mm -hmm. It's not sick. It's just old. It's just old. I'm ready to go. All right. So, I'd like for you to look around this room. Is there anyone with you? Or are you by yourself? With others, mm -hmm. so, someone is there. Who are these others? I think a girl and a boy. And I don't know if they're their family. Their family. I mm -hmm. think so. Okay. They're young. They're young. They're like in their twenties, around there, like around the same age I was in the ship. Are these your children? Mm -hmm. No. No. They're my grandchildren. Your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. All right. I think they're my grandchildren. You'll be able to feel their souls. Can you see the eyes on, on these children? I can. Mm -hmm. The eyes are always the window to the soul. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize these eyes in any anyone in the lifetime of Siobhan? I do. Mm -hmm. The male is Nick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my son. And just the meal. Very good. All right. <laughs> so I'd like for you to go ahead and take your last breath in that lifetime and disconnect from that body, leaving that body behind. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for you to tell me what you experience as you leave that body, what do you see or feel? I'm lighter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm lighter and it's, it's free. Mm -hmm. And in this beautiful light free state, you'll be able to look back at that lifetime that you've lived 
and you'll understand the purpose of living it and you'll understand the lessons that you learned. What was that lifetime all about on that trip? Service mm -hmm. to others, to help another, to help other beings that don't, that are not ours, that don't look like us, mm -hmm. because they can't help themselves. And did you make any vows or any thoughts in your mind at this time of what you would do differently? Mm -hmm. Any lessons that you learned that perhaps you would apply to a different life? Find more peace, I think. Find yeah. more peace. Find more peace. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to continue on your journey as this soul and continue leaving that body behind and tell me what you experience as you continue on your journey as spirit. What do you see next? What? I'm seeing water. Mm, I'm seeing water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's a cave. Mm -hmm. um, I think I live there. Mm -hmm. You live in the cave. Mm -hmm. It's uh, there are some areas that aren't on the water, so it's like rock. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm on the rocks right now. So, do you feel that you have a physical body in this place? I do. What, take a look at this body. What does it look like? <laughs> it's scaly. It's male. It's a male. It's scaly. What color are the scales? Um, it's sort of a dark... It's like a mossy green, kind mm -hmm. of. Yeah. I'm, I'm seeing my feet. What do your feet look like? They're not like human feet. They're webbed. They're webbed? Mm -hmm. Are there two feet? There are. Mm -hmm. There are, there aren't five toes. They're webbed in between. They're about four. Four webbed toes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about the legs? What did they look like? Like human legs, except green. Mm -hmm. Mossy, sort of green, gray, grayish green. Sort of. Um, they're long. Um, I think I'm tall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your torso. Is there anything on your torso that's different? Well, I don't I think I wear clothes. Mm -hmm. I don't see any clothes. Mm -hmm. So what does your chest and your torso look like? Mm. It looks like a human. Like a human? Well, not the same color, but the same makeup. It's um. My entire body is, is the same scaly sort of mm -hmm. texture. Yes. Um, but the shape of my body is human. Mm -hmm. But my feet are webbed. What about your hands? What do they look like? My hands are human, but well, they're, they're, they're webbed also. Mm -hmm. How many fingers do you have? Four. Four. But they're webbed. Mm -hmm. What about the rest of your body, the, your face, your head? Um, I think I have gills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gills, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where are these gills? On my neck. Mm -hmm. It's really weird. Uh huh. And your face, what does your face look like? Mm -hmm. I feel like behind my ears have my ears on like a normal human ear. It's just like the the hole that's for your ear. You it's have like air. you have air holes behind your ears. Um, in place of ears. Ah, in place of ears. So they're not protruding. No. They're just no. holes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
ugly faces. Um, I have eyes. I have two eyes. Mm -hmm. Are they large or small? Mm, they're large. They're not as large as my other eyes. They're more, they're more human sized. Mm -hmm. But I'm not. It's not human eyes. Like it's. It's, it's black. Black eyes. Yeah. Do you have a nose or a mouth? I don't think I have a protruding nose. It's just flat. I don't know if that's a nose. Oh, hold on. I'm looking. Hmm. I think I just have nostrils. Just nostrils. And lips. I think my teeth are jagged. The teeth are jagged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any hair? No, none. What's on, on your head? It's just the same skin. Mm -hmm. Is it smooth? It's the same texture as the rest of my body. Okay. And the shape of your head, is it round or does it have any anything on your head? Anything protruding from it? Is it smooth? It's... I'm getting a... Um, sort of like a fish fin mm -hmm. that's going down the middle like a mohawk. Okay. Yeah. Does that go past your... I think head? it goes down my back. Uh-huh. Oh, through my neck. Well, it goes from um, the top of my head, around the back, uh -huh. around the neck, around my back, like my spine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And does this fin have any different color? No, it's the same color. It's just not scaly. Okay. So it's now, smooth. so now that we know what you look like, mm -hmm. let's find out a little bit about how you live. Tell me some more about this cave that you've you're in. Oh, I, I, this is where I I rest. Mm -hmm. Um, but I swim. I I don't talk. Mm -hmm. I think I communicate through my. Thoughts like, um, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I could communicate with, with fish. With fish, okay, very good. Yeah. Are there any others around you? Or are you the only one there? Um, I'm the only one there. Okay, very good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to close this scene. And I want you now to go to a time in that same lifetime when something important is happening. Be there now. What's happening? I think I'm talking to I'm swimming really fast. Mm -hmm. In like the open ocean, um, I I don't think it's it's Gaia. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not water. Is this a water planet? I think so. Okay, that's how I get around. Yes, but there's land also because I I also have legs to walk. Mm hmm. Mm. But I think it's more water. Does this planet have a name? Hmm. I don't know. I'm getting serious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's important about this day? What's happening? I think I help the fish. How do you help them? I think I, um, I talk on their behalf, mm -hmm. um, because
because the other people on the land, they don't look like me. What do they look like on the land? They're, they're more human looking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they don't... They don't talk to the fish. Mm -hmm. You do. I, I can, yeah. Are you able to communicate with the humans on the land when you walk with them? Yes. Uh huh. But I don't walk with them. You don't? I can't walk with them. Why is that? Because I don't fit in with them. You don't them. fit in. Don't look like them. Mm hmm. And they're afraid of me. They are. They are. So I. I don't communicate openly with them. Mm -hmm. I think I speak to a few of them who understand. All right. And who accept me for what I look like. Mm -hmm. And um, I try to help uh, with. There are whales, mm -hmm. and there are dolphins. What is it that you're helping them with? Mm. Mm. The land, the people on the land, they're, they're only concerned with the land. Mm -hmm. They don't care about the, these creatures in the oceans, in the seas, in the water. They don't care about them. They just... They just used... They just used them. How do they use these... These beings from the water? For food. For food. Like earth, for food. Mm -hmm. Alright. So let's see what's happening on this day that's so important. I'm going to talk to some of the humanoids um, that's why I'm, I'm going so fast mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's urgent mm -hmm. um, I'm swimming really fast faster than the whales and the dolphins um, so um, I'm meeting with a female Mm -hmm. A female and a male. What do they look like there, these humanoids? Their, their skin is yellow. Yellow, yeah. Not bright yellow, but it's more yellow than um, beige. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. more yellow. And what, what kind of form do they have? They look like humans. Um, they wear, they wear like robes. Mm -hmm. They all dress the same. Are they male and female? Um, I'm meeting with a female. <coughs> yeah, they they are all male and female. Yeah. Okay. So, what is this meeting about today? Who is this female? I think she's a friend of mine. Or she's a very close friend. I don't know if she's family. She can't be family. I think she's family. All right. Yeah. But obviously we don't look alike. Mm -hmm. I think she's my sister. She's your sister. But I think... We have the same. We have the same father. We have the same father. Same father. So mm -hmm. your mother is the humanoid. No. No. My mother is. My mother is one of those creatures. She's not a whale or a dolphin. She's something else, but she doesn't look like me. Okay. Um, my father is more humanoid, yes. Okay, very good. Um, my mother 
has a tail. My mother has a tail. Mm -hmm. Instead of legs like me, she has a tail. So. And she's in the water? She lives in the water. She can't come on the land. Mm -hmm. She can't. But I can. Okay. So you have the legs of your father? Yes. Okay. But I have the scales of my mother. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. But I can talk to them both. I can communicate with them both. I can. Tell me about this communication with your sister today. Why is it so important? She's helping me with something. Mm -hmm. She's helping me to help others understand what they are doing when they disrespect. The sea creatures mm -hmm. or the water creatures. They're they're hunting them for sport. I feel like my mother is in hiding because of them. Mm -hmm. I feel like Yes, she she is. They don't They're afraid of they're afraid of anything that doesn't look like them. Mm -hmm. well, they don't respect it. They don't respect anything that doesn't look like them. They don't respect the life of other other beings. Well, she's helping to to help them. She's helping me by trying to tell them or to get them to respect and to leave the water creatures below the water being she, she's trying to help I feel like she she's she feels she feels for for us she yeah. loves she loves she loves dolphins. Mm -hmm. She loves dolphins and she she feels it so much. Mm -hmm. She feels their pain so much. She feels my pain. So let's move on. Let's close this scene and let's move to another scene of great importance in that life to find out what it is that happened. She's trying. She tried. She tried, but they won't listen. Mm -hmm. They don't. They don't care. So we're as a weaker, res we're weaker than them. They're the creatures in the water. They're weaker. They see them as weaker. Mm -hmm. So they don't care. So what has happened? Hmm. My sister didn't. What she intended to get out the message it wasn't received. Mm -hmm. And what happens to you now? Well, I'm just your... like an outcast. Mm -hmm. I can't live. I can't live amongst them. I can't be seen by them. But I also can't stay in the water. I can't stay in the water all the time. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. All right. So I'm going to know ahead and count from three to one. When I get to number one, you will understand completely why you cannot stay in that water. Take a deep breath in now. Three. Going deeper and deeper into that information. Two. Understanding why you cannot live in that water. And one. Oh. I'll drown. Mm -hmm. I can't stay there very long. Underwater, that is. Yes. 
So I have to also be on land. That's why I'm in the cave, because it's hidden. Mm -hmm. That's where my home is. It's hidden. I'm safe there. And I could go in the water whenever I want, whenever I need to. But I also can go on land, mm -hmm. on the rocks. Yeah. Very good. Is there anything else important from this moment? I feel like I'm the only... I'm lonely. You're lonely. lonely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Lonely. All right, so let's close that scene. And now let's move forward to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Be on the last day of your life. I'm in the cave again. You're in the cave. Well, I'm by myself. Take a look at your body. Is it ill? Is it old? Tired. Tired. Just tired. What has happened in your life? I'm just tired. I tried mm -hmm. to bring the two worlds together to to make them love each other mm -hmm. and to respect each other to have the humanoid sex I had to have them respect the water the water creatures but it's like I was fighting a battle by myself mm -hmm. my sister tried to help but she could only do so much. All right, so let's allow yourself to take your last breath, taking your last breath in that life, and just disconnect your spirit from that body, leaving that body behind. And as spirit, you'll be able now to look at that entire lifetime from a different perspective, understand your purpose and why you were there, what you've learned from it. People fear what they don't understand, but they don't have to. They need to respect each other. Every living being deserves respect. So understanding that now, I'd like for you to look at the lifetime now of Siobhan and what, how is it that she is being affected by this life? This life as the water being. She tries to do the same things here. To bring people together. To have respect for each other. To respect everybody's role. Everybody's role is different in this world. And it's all important. Everybody is important. The light, the dark, everybody is important. But we need to have respect for each other. Is and we need to love each other. Is she feeling? any of the emotional burdens from this water being in her life now? No. No. She understands that everything is for a reason. Mm -hmm. She understands that she has to, she has a role to play. Mm -hmm. What Everybody role? has a role to play. So what is the purpose for her coming into this lifetime now as a human being? She just wants to help. Mm -hmm service, to be of service to everybody. She just wants to help the humans because there's so much. There's so much hate down here. It's so in the first lifetime that she saw, she saw her being of service to Earth mm -hmm. as this being, this Arcturian being, working from the skies. 
from beyond. Yes. And now she saw herself as this water being also yes. trying to help. Yes. So how is that serving her now? Because she understands, she understands that mm -hmm. everybody has a point of view, but everybody just sees their point of view. Mm -hmm. And in order to help, you have to help others see the other side's point of view. Mm -hmm. And then they'll be able to understand and accept and respect and love each other. Uh, the conflict is, is all about misunderstanding mm -hmm. there's conflict when there is misunderstanding how is she doing in this life so far she's doing great she's doing great why at this time why did her soul choose to reincarnate now here at this time mm. no it's a it's a tipping point Mm -hmm. um, Guy has been given the opportunity to change for the better. She came to witness that change, to be a part of it, to participate in it. Mm -hmm. Because she's tried for so long. She's tried for so long to try and help, and she hasn't been able to to see it happen. Mm -hmm. And now, is she doing well? She is. She is. Very good. Now, did she bring any special skills into this lifetime with her when she came? Yes. She did. She, she doesn't think she is special, but she is because well, of all her experiences, all her lives that she's had, mm -hmm. she can see good in everybody, mm -hmm. even if they're the worst person in the world, she can see good in them. She just has to be. She doesn't have to do anything special. She just has to be. She just has to be. She's questioning whether her hands are healing hands. Yes, they are. So how can she use that ability? Mm. She can... She can do... Reiki, mm -hmm. Reiki. Do Reiki. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think she'll get bored though. She <laughs> did. Well, she, she tells will. she tells me that she doesn't really like to to do much studying. She does not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But on that spaceship, she was learning all the she time. Was, yeah. So, what is the difference between that lifetime mm -hmm. and this one when it comes to studying? She's learning. From experience in uh, that lifetime. Okay. This lifetime, she's living in a box mm. with confined systems, outdated, outmoded systems that don't serve any purpose. Mm -hmm. She knows, everybody knows, everybody knows. They have, you have the knowledge within you. You don't need to look outside for anything, you know, you just need to remember. Mm -hmm. You do not need a book to tell you who you are, or what to do, or how to be. You just are. You just need to remember. She doesn't like studying from a book because she knows she can do it better. Mm -hmm. She knows she can be more efficient. And she tries to tell people, but they're so stuck on this book and this qualifications and this paper. Mm -hmm. Everybody's different. Everybody has different ways of doing things. But would it benefit her 
to complete her qualification. Yeah, of course it would. Mm -hmm. It's We live in this world, and this world values those things. Mm -hmm. So of course it would, financially, but she won't be happy doing it. Mm -hmm. She she doesn't need to do it, but she should get the people. Mm -hmm. She should get the people. The piece of paper that says you're qualified to mm -hmm. do certain things. She, she should get it. I mean, she knows she knows more than people who already have the paper. Mm -hmm. She knows she knows that, but she knows she knows all these things, you know. But if a different perception that people have when you tell them you have a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. That's the world we're living in now. That's what we're living in. So you have to conform to it. Although she knows, she knows better and she knows more efficient, effective ways to do the same thing. She has to conform mm -hmm. to survive in this world. Yes. Yes. And talking about surviving in this world, mm -hmm. does she get her spiritual guidance? Of course, she does her whole life as spiritual guidance. Mm -hmm. She who, thinks who's she, guiding her? Oh, she has a lot of guides. She she has a lot of guides. She has there yeah, all the lives that she's had. Mm -hmm. She has. She's made some really good friends along the way. Mm -hmm. So helping her. So these others that she has made friends with in other lifetimes, mm -hmm. they're here in the non-physical helping her? They are. They help her. Mm -hmm. Because she was wondering about that. They are. She has a lot of guides. Mm -hmm. She's had a lot of lives, so she's experienced a lot. So she has a lot of guides to help her. Are these guides ascended masters, or are they just helpers mm. they put they <laughs> they put things in her head <laughs> so that she would question certain things or look into it mm -hmm. um, she has had contact with ascended masters in the past yes mm -hmm. um, so are they Sanat Kumar what is it Sana? Sanat Kumara. Who is that for her? A teacher. A teacher. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that the one who's helping her at this time? Yes, he always helps her. Always helps her. How does she know Sanat Kumara? Mm. She did the time that he did. Okay. Was this on Earth or somewhere else? It was on Earth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that this God would like to tell her at this time? Any message? Uh, she's doing well. Mm -hmm. She's using what she learned. And teaching people to be accepting of others. Mm -hmm. to, to not hold grudges. That's a waste of energy. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is. Good. You showed her a life in a ship, a life in a different mm -hmm. planet? She wanted to know what her origin was. Where did she come from? Mm, source. Mm. It's not important where she came from. She came from source. From source. Everybody comes from source. Mm -hmm. It's not important which planet you you originate on. It's Everybody originates from source. It's not important. It's What's important is all the experiences you have on those planets. Mm -hmm. So it does not matter. 
So it does not matter also her question about where the ascended masters and the Hindu gods come from? Oh no, she's been trying to figure that out. Poor child. <laughs> <laughs> so the question... She's hurting her head trying to figure that out. Mm -hmm. Because she doesn't like when she wants to know something and she doesn't have the answer right away. Mm -hmm. She doesn't, she's very stubborn and she's very impatient. So of course she wants to know because she can't figure it out, but she knows, she knows. They are beings like all of us. Jesus was a being from, uh, from source. Everybody's from source. Mm -hmm. He's just had different experiences, and the same with Hindu gods. The reason why she wanted to know about the Hindu gods is because it's such a big thing where she lives. Mm -hmm. It's such a big thing in their family. She doesn't. She wants to tell people, "Hey, you have God within you. You are God. Mm -hmm. Stop looking to the skies." These people, these beings that you're worshipping, aren't... You don't need to worship them. You need to look inside. You have all the answers. There's no need to look to any other being as a god. You are your god. So, she doesn't. It's not important. She only wanted to know so that she can tell others, mm. hey, they're not God. <laughs> you are the God. <laughs> it's not important. Well, if all of us come from source, are there any rules that are set as to, for example, who we make a contract with, who we come in with? Mm. There are rules in everything, Alba. Mm -hmm. There are parameters that you operate in. That's why, that's why we have universal laws. A contract she comes in with. Do not dictate where she must go. Mm. You make contracts all the time with people, with being with your guides you don't need to worry about contracts you can make them and break them mm -hmm. are there any now that she has made that she needs to break mm. no no she's doing well she can she does it you know she she doesn't know that she does it, but she does it when it's necessary. Uh -huh. She breaks the contracts when it's done and over with. She's very cut and dry. She's, she, she, she breaks the contracts when she needs to. She, she does it already. She doesn't need to know how to do it. She does it already. Okay. And what about those that help her? Because we talked before about uh, Sanakum, Sanakumara. 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 Mm -hmm. Is Sanakumara a guide that helps her with physical challenges? For example, when she's in danger? Or is that other guides? Mm. There are other guides that helped with that. Sanat is more mm -hmm. knowledge. That's more knowledge. Yes. So, for example, those times where she was um, robbed mm -hmm. or got into car accidents. Oh, yeah. Who was helping her at that time? Uh, her guides. Her guides. Uh, Anna. Anna. Anna Lam. Anna La? Anna Lam. Mm -hmm. That's a guide? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that her main guide, Anna Lam? Angels. Angels. Okay. All the time. Good. And what about her physicality? She says that things are happening with her eyes. She's seeing things in her mm -hmm. eyes. What's going on there? She thinks she's going blind. <laughs> she's not going blind. She's not going blind. What's going on with her eyes? Mm. Uh, it's an upgrade. It's an upgrade. Mm -hmm. She's receiving an upgrade. She is. Okay. Her third eye upgrade. She's okay. An upgrade. 
So what are these? She'll be fine. She'll, she's going to be fine. What are these spots that she's seeing? Those are just side effects from the upgrades that okay. she's getting. Okay. It's not anything to worry. She's not going blind. Okay. She'll be fine. And what about her body? She says she can't lose weight. She was always very thin and now... She likes cake. She likes cake. <laughs> okay. So the, 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 the bottom line is she has to stop eating that much cake? She's, she's stopped eating. She, she's, she's gotten better. She has. She has. Uh, she just needs to stop worrying about it. Okay. Just be. It'll happen. It's a process. Okay, good. It doesn't happen overnight. She just needs to drink more water. Mm -hmm. uh, she needs to stop. Um, she needs to stop eating processed foods. Okay. No she, processed foods. No. She needs to. She doesn't have to cut out sugar completely. She can use other things, like she likes sweet stuff, she really does. Mm -hmm. She started when she was a, a kid, she likes sweet stuff, but she'll be okay. She doesn't need to worry. Why do you need to worry about your physical body? You don't. She'll be fine. Talking about her body, mm -hmm. she says she's been vibrating. <laughs> this vibrating body. What is causing the vibration? We had to get her attention somehow. Uh -huh. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Because is this her macabre that was yeah. vibrating? Yes, everybody has one. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit more about the macabre that we have? Uh, it's, um, it's a... Uh, it's not a physical thing, it's more of an energetic, uh, energetic vehicle, if you mean. Mm -hmm. It's located in the center of your body, mm -hmm. and it spins clockwise and counterclockwise. There's two parts. Mm -hmm. right? And hers, hers was spinning. It is spinning. Mm -hmm. She knows how to use it, but she doesn't remember. It it takes your your etheric, your astral astral body, if you will, uh, wherever it needs to go. Okay. Uh, yeah. So she can I? One. So can I ask for some assistance sure. from her guides? To show her a visual of how she can use her Merkaba to move forward and manifest even more in her life. Yes. Okay, very good. And now we have a question about still her body, but her O negative blood. Yes, she was obsessed with that. What is that? Can <sighs> it's not important in the whole scheme of things, mm -hmm. but seeing as she's persistent, I'll explain, explain to her. Um, she she was worried that she <laughs> that she was reptilian. Mm -hmm. She's not. She doesn't have that DNA. The blood, the O negative blood, is used to facilitate your soul DNA. It helps you to access your soul DNA better or faster mm -hmm. than the positive blood. It doesn't mean that you're better worse than anybody else she just needed to access her information faster okay so she decided that she needed 
the O negative part. Okay, so she actually chose that? Yes, of okay. course, we all choose. We all choose. Yes. Okay. Well, she's been told some information that I'm not sure if she's ready to hear or not. Mm. But she's been told that she has been taken in this life. And she saw it. Mm -hmm. She saw when she was five. When she was a little girl. She was taken. That's a contract. That's a contract. Yes. Can you facilitate that today? Yes. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count from five back to one. With each number, we're going to be taking her back like five years. And we get to number one. She will be at that age of five, fully mm -hmm. in that body, remembering exactly what happened. So taking a deep breath in now. Five. Going back through time and space, seeing this body getting smaller and smaller, younger and younger. Four. Through time and space. Three. Two. And one. Be there now. Completely acclimated into that body, into that mind. Tell me where you are. She's at her grandma's house. Mm -hmm. I'm in her grandmother's room. In her grandmother's room? Yes. What's happening there? There's a wooden window by the bed. She was sleeping. Between her grandmother and her aunt. The window was open. The top half of the window was open. And she saw the light. Mm -hmm. Where was that light coming from? Mm. Outside, and right out the window. It was a ship, but they didn't see it. They didn't. Was she awake? She was not. She was not awake at the time. She was asleep. Mm -hmm. What happened next? She wasn't woken up by the light. She was lifted, lifted into. She was. Uh, it was like a beam. And she was moving through the beam. She was small. She was five years old. And she's sort of being pulled by the beam of light through the window, the open window, mm -hmm. and onto the ship. Can you explain to me what kind of ship this is? Mm. It's, a s it's a round ship, it's a silver round ship. Mm -hmm. It's not huge, but, you know, it's, it's bigger than the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is this similar to the ship that she saw in that life? No. No. It's not the same thing. Not the same thing. This one is round. Mm -hmm. That one was oval. Mm -hmm. She... There are tall gray beings that are welcoming her into the ship. Mm -hmm. 
she's awake now. How many are these beings around her? There are four. Four of them. Does she know who they are? No. She's scared. She's scared of them. She's never seen these things in her life. She's... She's being moved by them, but they're not touching her. She's going through the ship with them. And she's scared. But she can't move. Is she being moved automatically by them? She... Or is she walking? She's walking. Okay. What is around the ship? Mm-hmm. What can be seen there? It's very sterile looking. It's silver, stainless steel, sort of, and white. There's a chair. There's a chair that she has to sit on. Mm-hmm. One of them comes up to her, just stares at her. They don't have any emotions. Mm -hmm. They don't show any. They're indifferent. Mm -hmm. What do they they look like? Can you paint a picture of them them for me? Their skin is gray and it's like a grayish blue mm-hmm. it's like a bluish gray more it's more gray yes but there's a tint of blue yes in it. your eyes are big black they sort of resemble the face of the first light we showed her mm-hmm but they have no clothes on. They're thin and they're long. They're gray and blue. No clothes? No clothes. Do they have any gender? Mm, it doesn't look that way. They all look the same. Mm-hmm. They look the same. So they're like duplicates of each other? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know they're not the same. They all look the same. They may be... They're not the same height. There is some difference in the height and mm-hmm. maybe some subtle differences. But they look more or less the same. But they're not. Mm-hmm. They, they have different personalities, if you may. Although they don't smile. Mm-hmm. They don't even move their mouth. What shape is their mouth then? It's really tiny. I don't even think they have lips. It's mm-hmm. really... Yeah. Nose? They have a really small nose, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they have big eyes. Any ears? Mm, no. no. Not uh, protruding. Okay. What about the shape of their head? It's not as long as um, her to herself. It's not as long as... It's not as elongated as that, but it's big. Bigger than the human head. It's okay. like a bulb. <laughs> like a bulb. Yeah. And they have um, arms and legs? They do. What, how many fingers do they have? Take a look at the fingers. Mm, they're really long fingers. They're really long and creepy looking. How they're many? Four. Four. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Four. And if you look at their feet? Their feet. Mm. Oh, I'm counting. Looks like three. Three toes. Mm. Mm. Are they big feet? Mm. They're narrow. Narrow feet. And they're long, yeah. Okay. The entire frame is long and narrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this little girl, Siobhan, is mm. looking at them in this chair. She's terrified. Do they connect with her telepathically at all? They do. So let's find out what th- thoughts are being given to her. Mm. 
just to remain calm. They didn't use those words, obviously, but that's what they're trying to tell her. Mm -hmm. They're projecting that. Yeah. To just be calm. And what is Siobhan doing? She can't move. She's freaking out in her head. Mm -hmm. Is but she expressing any emotions physically? She can't. She can't. She can't. No, she's just freaking out in her head. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. What are these things? Mm -hmm. So what happens next? Mm. Mm. Where does she mm. go after this chair? They're putting something in her. She's on a table. Mm -hmm. It's like a flat. It's not a bed. It's like a flat piece of steel. Like, you know, those operating tables they put you on. Not operating, but the ones in the morgue. Mm -hmm. It's like that. Um, it's cold. It's cold. So let's see what they're putting inside of this little girl. Mm. Where are they putting it in? Mm. A uterus. A uterus. I think they put one in her shoulder. What is it that they're putting in there? Mm, it's a little... It's like a flat chip, mm -hmm. per se. Um, it's for monitoring her. Okay. She... She has to give them eggs. She has to give them eggs? She does. That's a contract. Did she agree to this contract? Mm, she did. When did she agree to it? Before she came here. Before. Mm -hmm. So what connection does she have with these beings? Mm. She just wants to help them. She does. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she agreed to this. She did. Alright. And how many eggs was she supposed to give them? Mm. As many as could be used. Mm -hmm. Alright. She, she gave them the eggs, they took her again, and she was ready. Mm -hmm. So let's close this scene right now. Close this scene and let's go to the next scene mm -hmm. when she was taken once again. Mm -hmm. How old? Thirteen. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. Let's see where she was. She was at a different house. Mm -hmm. She was in her bed. Um, she shared a room with her brother. Her brothers. Yes. She was in her bed sleeping again and they came the night. They took her, but the window wasn't open this time. Let's see how she got through. Went through the wall, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> through the window, but it wasn't open. She was pulled through. She was pulled through. This time she was awake and she felt it. She was awake. And she felt it. Mm -hmm. So where did she end up mm. when she was pulled? Was on the ship again. Mm -hmm. The same kind of ship, the same shape. I don't know if it was the same ship, but it was the same kind of ship. And she's being pulled onto the ship. And she's seeing those beings again. <laughs> They're Again, she's terrified. 
because she doesn't she doesn't know them she's scared so what happens on their ship this time they're taking her they're not putting her on the chair they're just taking her straight to the room with the the table, the type of table the, that she was on the last time. Mm -hmm. It's cold. And there's there's some um, some sort of device that they're using on her tummy. Um, She's, it's, she's not in pain, but she's scared more than anything. Mm -hmm. What kind of device are they using? It's what does it look like? something they're using with their hand, like a, like a pen. Like a pen? Light, pen light. Uh huh. Yeah. And what do they do with that pen they're light? They're cutting her skin. They do? Mm-hmm. And what do they do? What are they doing once they cut her skin? It's like a C-section. Mm -hmm. They're going. They're gonna get the eggs. They're gonna. Oh. So they're harvesting her eggs. Yes. Okay. Yes. So they're going right into the ovary. Find out how many eggs they've taken. Mm, they've taken a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. As much as they could get. Mm -hmm. Because they're trying to make new beings. Mm -hmm. So some may come out right and some may not. So right. they take more to be sure that they get what they want so they took a lot I don't know how much but they took a lot how is that cut sealed um, with the same device is it was it? um they didn't have to touch her they just had to move it like if they were cutting her mm -hmm. it was sealed um, she has she has marks on her she does well not marks but it's a line that it's deep mm -hmm. they cut along that same line it lo looks natural it didn't leave a scar but that's where they cut all right so she wants to know how many children have come out of all of this. Mm -hmm. She has eight. She has eight children. Mm -hmm. Eight were right. All right. So I'd like for you to close this scene right now, and I'd like for you to show her what these eight children look like. They're different. They're all different. They're all different. Some are the same, but they're not all the same. One is um, a girl. She she has big eyes. She has blue eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how she has blue eyes, but she has blue eyes. Mm, she has uh, almond shaped eyes. And she has long hair. 
Is it black hair? She has black hair and blue eyes. Does she look human? Mm, she does, but you can tell she's not human. Okay. She has bigger eyes than us. Where is she's, it? Uh, she's like, um, it's like a mix between if you were to take the eyes of those beings that took her mm -hmm. and her eyes. Okay, so a little bit bigger. But it's in between. It's not as big as their eyes, but it's not as small as our eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not as small as. Yeah. And does she have any connection with this little girl? Mm -hmm. Has she been able to visit her? She hasn't seen her as yet, but she knows. She hasn't been able to. S to touch her, to see her physically, but she knows her, she does, she knows that's her daughter. What about the other children, what do they look like? Mm. There's a boy. darker in color than the girl. He's 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 younger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's younger. He is he has black hair also. Does he look humanoid or does he look more like that? Mm -mm. He looks like the girl. Okay. He looks more like her. Mm -hmm. Good. Where is it that these children live? They live on a ship. They live on the ship. They've never been on a They don't live on a planet. They don't live on a planet. Has no. Siobhan ever gone back to the ship again after giving those no, eggs? No, her contract with them was over. Is over. Why is it that Siobhan never really felt the need to have children in this lifetime? Because she already knew she was going to have hyper children. Okay, she already knew that. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Is there anything that Siobhan needs to know about this experience? Mm, she knows. She doesn't have to be afraid. They're okay. The, the children are okay. They're waiting for her. They can't come now. Okay. It's not time. No. Will there be a time when she needs them? Of course. Okay. Very good. Can you tell me anything about things to come in the future? Many mm. people are talking about earth changes, about ascension, mm. about sun's events. Mm. She... Mm. Humans are being prepared right now. They need to be prepared for what is to come. The children are part of that whole plan. They are of a higher frequency. They can't survive down here right now. Mm -hmm. There's too much, too much density down here right now. They can't survive right now. We need to raise the frequency in order for them to survive. They are here to just be and to just... And to just free, raise the frequency. They will come. Mm -hmm in the future. She what will is, need them. She will. What is the purpose of having all these hybrid children? They were needed. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? The same as the reason she decided to incarnate into an O negative being blood mm -hmm. line, so that she can access that information 
faster and quicker her soul DNA which carries all her experiences that she's been all her life that she's been on that's what your soul DNA does it carries everything that you've experienced as a soul the new children coming in are able to access that without having O negative blood. Okay, these are the new children that are being born now? The hybrid children. Oh, the hybrid children. Okay. They are able to access it. Their soul DNA and to remember faster. Their DNA is repaired. They're necessary because they can access that information. When we remember who we are, it's easier for us to love each other. When we remember who we are, it's easier to respect each other as sentient beings. So how can she much quicker now access this information, her soul information? Mm. She just needs to meditate. She stopped, but she mm -hmm. just needs to meditate. She knows all this information. Okay. We, we, we have given her, we, we give her downloads mm -hmm. when she needs it. She wants everything one time. It doesn't happen like that. She won't be able to handle it. Mm -hmm. So She's confined to this human body, so she can't. We can't give her that information now, everything now. She wants everything now. She's, well, she's very impatient. She's only started since September. Yeah, she has. So she's so, come a long way. She has. Um, so these breadcrumbs for her to follow will continue. Of course. You know, on her path, and she just needs to be patient that she will yes, get the information. She knows that. She knows that. Her life is an example of this. She knows that she doesn't have to do anything. Everything falls into place when it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. She's not supposed to worry about anything. She doesn't worry. She's just impatient. But she needs to understand that certain things have to happen before she, f she gets the information she needs or wants. But she has all the information. She's just to decode the information is what she needs to do. Mm -hmm. We all have the information. We just need to interpret the information. That's what the process is. You have to interpret what you are seeing, feeling, things that you already know. Mm -hmm. But we are confined by this human body, by this DNA that has been tampered with mm -hmm. by beings from the past. So we are in the process of repairing that DNA. We, it cannot be rushed. So all of us will be repaired? Of course. Is this what this whole event is all about? Yes, okay. it's your connection mm -hmm. to Source. You have been tampered with throughout history. Mm -hmm. The humans, the, the human, human experiment mm -hmm. has been tampered with like a guinea pig. Mm -hmm. Like, um, like we were seeing those ships doing when they were yes, coming here. Yes, exactly. Okay. Good. Now she needs to leave here today with more confidence in herself because she's always felt like the person who does not fit in. Yes. What would you like to tell her about that? About She doesn't need to fit in. <laughs> okay. She just She's not supposed to fit in. <laughs> okay, so she just needs to be herself. She just needs to be herself. She knows this. She does, okay. She does, but she does not accept it. Okay. So, I'm curious as to why you brought her from mm -hmm. so far away 
to this session? What did she need to know and see today? She needed confirmation. Mm. She needed... She needed confirmation that she wasn't going crazy and that she needs to trust what she sees mm -hmm. and what she experiences and what she feels because it's important and it's real and she's not crazy and she's not imagining things. Mm -hmm. Everything that she's dreaming is something that she's remembering. She's now able to remember her dreams. She's, she never was before. Mm -hmm. And she's seeing where, she's remembering where things in her dreams. And she's like, she figures she, she's going crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, where, where did that come from? And she, we just, we just wanted her to be to be confident. Good, good. And what she's seeing. So when she goes home now and her ego tells her she made all this up, <laughs> what advice would you like to give her? That will probably happen. <laughs> <laughs> it always does. <laughs> what would you like to tell her? Well, her ego at this time? Oh, gosh. I wish I could get rid of the ego, honestly. Or to put the ego somewhere in a box and throw it away. But, unfortunately, that's not possible, mm -hmm. so she just has to quiet the ego and listen to us more. Very she good. knows this, you know, she hears us more in sleep and in meditation. When she's sleeping, she does a lot of work, how well? Mm -hmm. So she's mm -hmm. doing well? She is. She good. is doing well. Good. Is there anything else that you would like to tell her today, or are we complete? Mm. She is... she needs to not expect too much, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? To... she needs to just be... things will fall into place when they need to. She's being guided. She needs not worry she just needs to play her role mm -hmm. and she just needs to be who she is she just needs to love Beautiful. And that is all very good thank you so much wonderful yeah. all over oh welcome, um, welcome back Hi. Hi. How do you feel? Oh, I'm, I feel great. Yeah? Yeah. You're buzzy? I am. My hands are tingling. Your hands are tingling? <laughs> That's nothing new. <laughs> so, They're tingling more. Why do you, what do you feel about this experience? Oh, do you remember? I remember, yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember most of it. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. It was awesome. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. Anything new that you experienced there? Um, yeah, the um, abduction. That, mm -hmm. um, I, I couldn't remember that. Mm -hmm. I couldn't remember that. You no. Couldn't. What about the aquatic being? Yeah, that was weird. Mm -hmm. It was really weird. It was like a fish man. A fish man. Yeah, yeah it was weird. <laughs> and then the, the one on the ship? Yeah, I think. Commander in training or the... Yeah. That was amazing. Wasn't it? The, the view of space is amazing. It's really beautiful. It really is. How long do you think this was? How did it feel to you? Um, it felt like about... I knew everybody says... No, I what did knew, it feel like? It felt like half an hour. Mm -hmm. How long has it been? Two hours. What? Are you serious? Wow. You really have no, t no concept of time. Mm -hmm. Wow. Two hours. Wow. Yeah. That's a long time. Amazing stuff, huh? Yeah. It's amazing. Is this something you want to share? Yeah, I mean, if it, if it helps people, I mean, I don't remember everything. All right, Siobhan. Yes. How do you feel? I feel wonderful. 
Mm. It feels it feels nice to get the answers. Yeah. But yeah, it does. I'm very happy with the session. It was worth it. It was worth it. Yes. So um Siobhan tells me that she only has found out about all this stuff since September. Yes. And right now we are in March. Yes. So that's pretty fast learning. It is. is I it? watched all, I think I watched all of your videos. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. It was amazing. So the whole journey so far has been amazing. So this session, how did you feel um, in this session? I didn't. I knew everything that was going on. I wasn't hypnotized, like the traditional way you think. Well, you, people think it's sleep. No, I was wide awake. Um, yeah, mentally, I, I knew. I heard everything around me. It was amazing. That's what it happens. Was amazing. Yeah, was. because hypnosis is not sleep. No, it's not. You're fully conscious of everything that you're seeing and hearing. It's it's amazing. Yeah. 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 So how does your body feel? Oh, it's it feels it's tingly. <laughs> <laughs> it's tingly. And tell everybody how far you've traveled to come here. We're in Miami by by the way, right now. I came from Trinidad. From which Trinidad. Is in the Caribbean. Yes. And I came um, on yesterday. Yeah. It's my first flight ever. I've never been anywhere outside of Trinidad. So it's just divine time. Well, obviously you've been in space, so you've been out of Trinidad, <laughs> but not not in the conventional not, way. Not on an airplane. Not no. an air. She's been in a ship, but not in an airplane. Exactly. Wow. So it's amazing. So yeah. was it worth coming here for of this? Of course it was. I'd do it again if I could get an appointment. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. So if you would like an appointment. What you have to do is you go to my website, albawyman.com. You need to sign up to, on the mailing list to be on my newsletter mailing list. That's the second thing you have to do. And then you have to watch out for my newsletter. About once a month, approximately, it comes out. And as soon as that email hits your inbox, you need to click on it. And there's links to calendars telling you where I'm going to be around the world. I'm not always in Miami. I could be anywhere. And whatever's close to you, just click on that link. And if there are dates and times on that calendar, it means I have an appointment. If there's no dates and no times, they've been booked. And I'm telling you this, they book within minutes. That's the truth. I tried it after I got my appointment. Within eight minutes, all her sessions were booked. Mm, there you go. That was eight minutes. Eight minutes. Yeah. So um, I hope you enjoyed the session. I certainly didn't want it to end. I thought it was wonderful. And uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon and do a session with you. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>